Hi guys, it's Julie from cookedbyjulie.com. Today we're making chicken and mushroom skillet. This is an easy weeknight meal that requires almost no effort, but is packed with flavor. So let's get started. So for this recipe, I recommend using a thick or a medium thick boneless chicken breast. This will only be delicious if you don't overcook the chicken. This chicken was super moist and juicy, and if you're a beginner cook, I recommend using a meat thermometer so you don't overcook the chicken. Make sure to season it generously with salt, pepper, granulated garlic, and paprika for some color. I cooked the chicken for about four minutes on each side over high heat and it was fully cooked through. Once the chicken is done cooking, go ahead and remove it from the skillet and then we're gonna get started on the sauce. Go ahead and add the onions, mushrooms, spinach, and fresh garlic. Definitely use all fresh ingredients, nothing frozen. Cover this, reduce the heat to medium low, and cook for a couple of minutes. Some red crushed pepper, that's optional and some fresh squeezed lemon juice. That's a must. It adds freshness. I think lemon spinach is awesome. It gives this dish a vibrant and all around fresh flavor. So definitely add half of a lemon to this. Highly recommend it. And then finally, some chicken stock and butter. So because I wanted this to be something you can enjoy often, I didn't add any heavy cream or flour or cornstarch. I wanted this to be an all-around wholesome healthy recipe that you can make several times a week if you'd like. Make sure to season this with salt and pepper generously. I added a little bit of fresh Parmesan cheese, optional, but it adds a little nuttiness and saltiness to the dish so I like it. Plus it helps to thicken things up just a little bit. This is not going to be a thick sauce, but it's delicious if you serve it with some jasmine rice. It soaks it right up. I love that it was lemony and buttery and perfectly seasoned. I promise you that you will love this recipe. Serve this with some brown rice or cauliflower rice if you're trying to eat lighter. So place the chicken back into the skillet, cover it, reduce the heat to low, and let it cook for about a minute or two. I am not just saying this, but this recipe is fantastic. It may not look like much, but I promise it's super good. Give it a try. Let me know if you do, and I want to thank you guys so much for watching.